Welcome to Rick Snyder's Washington on YouTube, where you get the whole story. So please like, share, subscribe, comment, and you hit the thanks button. All right, what you doing Memorial Day weekend? It kind of snuck up on us, didn't it? And I start my summer series again about weekend wanderings, places that you can go around town or maybe a short drive from town and, you know, when you want to just get out of this place and have some fun. Not everybody's going to the beach, all right? So I'm picking a bunch of places. I'll have them every Saturday morning for you, just like last year. Starting off at the National Arboretum, which is out off of New York Avenue Northeast, kind of like Bladensburg Road, too. So it's sort of the edge of town. When I worked at the Washington Times uh, for many years. That, that was right at the edge of the, next to the Arboretum was the gate. So beautiful place overall. It was built by Congress in 1927. Has 450-ish uh, acres. And there are just, you can, it's free. All right, start with that. And there's just plenty of things to see if you're into nature or, you know, if you're still one of these COVID people with masks and want to get away from the masses. So, you know, they have a, they have an Asian section. They have azaleas. They have uh, ferns and different, you know, they have a group of state trees, one for each state. That's pretty cool because like a cypress tree, you wouldn't see that around here normally. So, you know, that's pretty cool. They have those kind of things. But the real blockbuster are the 22 Corinthian columns that were used to hold up the cat dome at the Capitol. Uh, many years ago, the U.S. Capitol. And they basically uh, were there, you know, the, the, of course, the War of 1812, they burned the Capitol. And then the termites got it in 1855, so they had to redo it again. And the new dome was too heavy for the old columns, so they had to just ditch them, put them over there. And the great part is, uh, let's see, they've been going since 1958. So the great part of this is, is they just stand alone. It looks like you wandered into ancient Greece or something, you know, an old... Uh, you know, Athenian building or something. They're pretty cool. It's, it's a great place to spend a couple hours outside, different venues, great for photographers, uh, and or if you just want the kids to run loose in open fields and all. It's a cool spot. So go see the National Arboretum. I'm Rick Snyder. Thanks for coming. See you soon. Maybe at the National Arboretum.